I'm finally doing it. Today I'm going to review Zack Snyder's Justice League. The Snyder Cut has been released. Yeah, it's on Zack Snyder's Justice League. I, I'm just going to say it's from 2021 because that's when it was released, even though it was supposed to be the one you were supposed to get, but oh well. So the plot of this movie is where after, uh, spoiler alert if you haven't seen Batman vs. Superman, Superman dies. So Bruce Wayne want, finds out that there's this supervillain called Steppenwolf, and he plans to gather around these three mo- things called mother boxes and try to destroy the world. And they, and so Bruce Wayne has to perform to form a team, including Wonder Woman, The Flash, Aquaman, and Cyborg, and they all form together to try and stop Steppenwolf and a bunch of other supervillains along the way. This movie was awesome. I loved it. Thank you, Warner Brothers, for releasing this movie. Why couldn't this be the one we got in 2017? I mean, okay, this movie isn't perfect. We'll get to that. But it was an awesome, fun movie. I loved it. Yeah, this is definitely not like the Whedon version. Uh, Well, for... For like 98% of it. But we'll get to that. And it gives you everything. Like the pacing is really good. It doesn't. Like it doesn't feel rushed. They don't just rush through the backstories. And just like by the end you're like that's it. No. It's a four hour movie. Each is divided into chapters by the way. And they all provide you know backstories. For like the Flash. And they you know show. They don't really show Aquaman's backstory really. I guess because. They figured by this time people have already seen Aquaman, even though this chronologically takes place before Aquaman, but whatever. And yeah, everyone comes back. The acting is very good. Ben Affleck, he's not a joke in this one. Yeah, he's not like, I didn't bring a sword. No, screw you, Joss Whedon. He's actually awesome. Like his his armored suit, it looks great. And yep, got my Batman shirt. I... This is entirely coincidental, by the way. I was not even planning to wear this. This is just a coincidence, but it's a perfect one. And the Flash, he's not as annoying in this one. I mean, he, he's fine. I mean, like, he's fine. Like, in the Whedon one, he was so cringy. What is brunch? No, like, I mean, like, yeah, he does still some of the things, like, where he's like, I'm a black hole of snacks i'm a snack hole yeah like did snyder really write or no the writer of this movie did he really write that or was that just a we and seen the left end i don't know but and they still have the you smell good did i not before like why did they leave those in but yeah and superman he doesn't have the bad mouth in this one and his black suit looks awesome and at steppenwolf he looks awesome. He actually looks threatening this time. He has like a menacing face and he has a bunch of spikes and Desaad, like his sidekick, his, uh, not his sidekick, but like a, um, right hand man, I guess. Like he's great. Dark side. Yeah. Dark side. He's not totally in it as much. I'm not going to giving spoilers, but like, he's not like a huge part of the movie, but like, He's in and enough to satisfy you, and it's great. And, you know, all the villains, it was great to see him. And, and s- make sure you stay through the credits, because uh, there's some surprise characters in there. And it was great to see everyone there. And Cyborg, he actually does stuff in this movie. Good, because it's a shame that there he's no longer in the DCEU because of the thing where Ray Fisher was trying to get Warner Brothers to do a bunch of investigations or something but whatever that doesn't affect the movie and it's it's awesome i really really liked it it's but yeah as i said like some of the kind of cringy jokes but like this movie was kind of meant to be like that Zack snyder previously said that like this all the chapters were kind of gonna get more like a changing tone like it, like, this wasn't going to be like Batman vs. Superman. So that I can understand. So the tone fit. It said it was 
kind of could have a similar tone to Aquaman, and I could see that. Uh, how does this rank in the DCEU? Uh, I'd say it's probably on the same level as like Aquaman and Wonder Woman. It's not Man of Steel or Birds of Prey, but it's like, it's good. I don't think it's a masterpiece, but then again, I'd hardly call any superhero movie a masterpiece. But it, this is the movie that we've always wanted. This is the movie we should have gotten. And if you were disappointed in Whedon's cut, I think you'll be satisfied with this. It may not be like, totally the version you might have like it might be one of those great but could be better kind of movies but i could totally understand if you would think that way but and at least this movie tried to be about something so i give it props for that so we don't get hbo max here in canada but we have it on crave here so if you have hbo max in the states if you're in the states give it a watch but hopefully you don't watch it too late so because it, it is four hours long so you got to be prepared and this movie it didn't even feel like a four-hour movie it went by really quick probably because i was so invested and it was a pretty epic film i'm not sure if we'll ever get a justice league 2 but only time will tell who knows what'll happen and i can't wait to see the suicide squad as well coming out this year and i hope we get a trailer for that soon and I'm definitely looking forward to what else the DCEU is going to bring on. So I loved Zack Snyder's Justice League. It's it's awesome. So that's my review of Justice League. See you later.